Welcome back, welcome back. I am your host, Majestic Quinn 444. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. Y'all, I am back with a general zodiac sign reading. We've already done Leos and Scorpio. So let's see who else we get for the night. Um for individual signs let's see who is the lucky one who's going to be the lucky lucky one the lucky lucky one <laughs> the lucky one i just need one just one all right cancer cancer sun moon rising or venus it's going to be cancers cancer sun moon rising venus you are your person y'all make sure y'all take what resonates for you always leave the rest uh, for someone else <laughs> i'm also hearing um use your intuition and discernment regarding the messages as well let's get to it i'm hearing tie your shoes up so you don't trip if you know you know don't be in my comments saying that wasn't me that wasn't me if you know you know oh my god you could be dealing with a scorpio we got pregnancy scorpio just pulled that unwanted or wanted pregnancy could be dealing with a scorpio don't have to be could have that in your in your chart um cancer take what resonates dark or feared skin one two three on the timer one two three dark or feared skin cancer somebody got some unspoken truths this was something similar to Scorpio. Um, somebody was hiding something. Could be a pregnancy. Could be a baby. Something like that. But somebody has unspoken truth here. Cancer. Whether somebody I'm hearing is on the DL or they are bisexual. Dark or feared skin. Someone who could be pregnant. Whether they wanted to get pregnant or they didn't know they was pregnant. Yeah. Karma. Somebody's about to receive some type of karma here. It all depends on how you've been behaving in these streets. Somebody needs to wake up. I'm hearing somebody needs to wake up that karma is real. Karma is real. I'm also hearing um, God said, don't touch my anointing. 212 could be significant. Addicted. Addicted. Somebody could have some type of addict. I say addicted. Somebody could be addicted to the dick is what I'm hearing. And they got pregnant. They got pregnant or this could be past, present, or future. You take what resonates for you. But somebody here was addicted to something. Yeah, very impulsive. Very impulsive individual. I'm also hearing maybe this child is very impulsive. Impulsive. <laughs> maybe this child is very impulsive. It could be a cancer child. Doesn't have to be. Take what resonates. But somebody here could have short or long hair. They could have afraid. Afraid. Somebody could be afraid. Maybe somebody's afraid of getting pregnant for being too impulsive and maybe they slept with somebody that has addictions. Maybe they slept with the wrong person and now they are pregnant by this person. I'm feeling that as well. Somebody slept with somebody that has addiction, like an addict. Somebody slept with an addict and now they're pregnant by this person or could have had a child by this person. Table resonates with you. But um, this person or someone has short or long hair. They could have a fade um braids balls or locks take what resonates cancer energy somebody could be having wet dreams about you cancer maybe you're having wet dreams because you're about to find out you're pregnant or you just found out look don't stop look yeah somebody here was definitely getting it in is what i'm hearing they was getting it in trying to make a baby trying to make a baby I'm here. Somebody was just trying to have fun, but the baby came. Yeah, somebody was just trying to have fun. You know, you see it says one night stand. Somebody was just trying to have fun, and they about to find out they are prego. Yes, this could have happened in the summer, or like we said, cancer. This could be a July, July cancer, something like that. Somebody just want peace. They might be experiencing some... Uh, jail time or something or they could just be in their head a spiritual jail um but we have somebody saying there's nothing better to hear you say that i'm hearing somebody's going to tell somebody that they are pregnant and they're going to be happy somebody's about to pull up i'm hearing knock 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 i'm also hearing knock knock who's there so take what resonates 
four 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 on the timer. Somebody bet that you're getting hard slash wet right now. They ain't been responding to you or you ain't been responding to someone because you're bored now. You're bored with the situation or somebody's bored with you. Take what resonates, but you're on a spiritual journey or you're about to go on some type of physical journey because you're bored. Take what resonates. Yeah, the kids are asleep. Definitely somebody is about to get, get it done. I'm hearing one and done, one and done. Somebody's about to be brave. The letter B could be very significant. I'm hearing Brandon. Brian. Yeah, intimacy. We made it here to more adventures in 2023. I'm hearing you guys probably been knowing each other for about a year. Yeah, this could have been a third party. Or somebody had a third party that's a cancer. Could be a Scorpio energy. Don't have to be. Yeah, but I'm hearing you are protected, cancer. This baby is protected. I'm hearing spiritual baby. I'm hearing cryptic pregnancy. <sighs> then we got BDSM. I'm hearing, so if you've been liking it more rough than usual, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. You, you've been trying new things because you're pregnant. 555 five, five on the timer. Yeah, possibly because also, also I'm hearing somebody could have got you pregnant on purpose. But I'm hearing hurt people hurt people. This is what I'm seeing. Hurt people hurt people. Somebody could have got you pregnant on purpose to hurt somebody. This is what I'm hearing as well. Yeah, this could have been somebody that's famous or you're about to receive some type of fame due to somebody thinking they were going to hurt you because they were hurt. You're about to receive some type of recognition. Yeah, you got psychic abilities, Cancer. I'm here. you don't need that fool. You don't need that fool because you're irreplaceable. Male or female, take a resonance. You're irreplaceable with that wet wet. With that wet wet. What's this? Yeah, death. Death. You about to spiritual you about to a spiritual death. You're about to experience a spiritual death with this person. Take what resonates. Don't have to be. Look, July. I said that, right? Yeah, I said that. I said that. Y'all see that, right? Somebody's saying run. Run. Somebody could have ran from you in July. Or you could have made a run in July. Look, somebody's about to seek some justice. F you and justice. 7 Eleven can be very significant. That's July. July 11th? Is that July? Yeah, June 6th, 5th, May. <laughs> yeah, 7th <seven> July. <laughs> I had to think about it. Yeah, July 11th can be very significant for a date. But your spiritual team got you. They say keep going. We got you. We got you. Even though somebody's saying F you, they about to seek justice. This could be a, like a cancer baby mama that's trying to get some uh, some child support or something like that. Or you take what resonates for you. But somebody here is definitely trying to get something out of somebody. I'm hearing that as well. Yeah. Somebody could have had a one night stand and got somebody pregnant. I'm also hearing that be careful who you um, have a baby by. I'm hearing that, have a baby by me and be a millionaire. Have a baby by me and be a millionaire. But I'm hearing this person was an addict. Somebody got tricked. Somebody got tricked. They thought they was going to be with somebody with them, you know, for their bag, I guess. And they ended up getting pregnant. They had a one-night stand, as you can see. They had a one-night stand with somebody. Or you did. And they thought it was really peaceful. Maybe somebody, probably a thief. They probably stole something or this person is going to go to jail for framing somebody or I'm hearing false trying to have a baby by somebody that's famous. Like they faked a pregnancy or something and somebody's going to sue them for faking a pregnancy. Take what resonates for you. Take what resonates. That's what I'm saying though, Cancer. That's what I'm saying for you. Okay. All right, that was a lot, right? <laughs> Let's move on on. Let's move on. Faking a pregnancy. I keep hearing that. Someone faked a pregnancy. All right, let's get to the gushy stuff. 9-11, we did just see jail. Definitely, somebody's going to try to plead their case. Or you're going to have to need to plead your case. Take what resonates. Let's see. Somebody here is addicted to you or to some type of substance or something. Let's see. Let's get some good stuff. I can't wait for the day I come home to you every night. You're my other half. You're somebody else feels this way. Cancer. 
You are the perfect mix I ever wanted in a guy or girl. You're the other half. You make them forget how to breathe, Cancer. You could be dealing with the Leo. They have that. Don't have to be. Unstoppable. You feel unstoppable at this time, Cancer. Or someone you know. Take a resonance. I'm holding back nothing because I want you to feel how I cherish you. I'm, I'm seeing the baby. That's how the pregnancy happened. They weren't holding back. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. That's an end. <laughs> the age uh, 20 could be significant. Somebody's saying, who do you think you are coming in my life this way? Making me all happy and shit. You make this person really happy, Cancer. Or Cancer, someone makes you really happy and you just like, who the hell are you? Where did you come from? All I need is you right now. I keep hearing that. Like, some have a baby by me and be a millionaire, but somebody got tricked. You ignite indescribable feelings in me. I'm hearing this is all the person was doing. Pillow talking. I'm in my bed. You're in your bed. One of us is in the wrong place. They were pillow talking. Like they held, they was in that bag. Love conquers distance. For some, you could be in separation. For some cancers out there that somebody do want a child with you, want a family with you. Um, they do feel... Um, they do feel the whole zoo when they're with you. They said not just butterflies. They feel the whole zoo because you're their friend. Not only their lover, but you are their friend, their confidant. 11-11 on the timer. I'm here make a wish. I'm here. You are this person's wish. You was this person. You are this person's wish. Yeah, you guys could love music together. Every song I hear reminds me of you. You guys have like a music connection. I believe in this love. Somebody's finally stepping up to believe in the love, Cancer. I hope you have a restful holiday. See you in the new year. Somebody wants to spend the new year with you. You should never. You should never wear a vibrator. <laughs> that's that's good. Somebody needs to hear that. You should never wear a vibrator when you go out. <laughs> but um, this is what it says. You should wear a vibrator when you go out tonight, and I'll hold the controls. I'm hearing somebody wants to control you, Cancer. Somebody wants to control you. I was hearing that, like, uh, somebody that's going after, like, child support or something like that. They love you to infinity. Or this is what you felt for this person until you found out that they are addicted to, like, money. 12-12 on the timer. I will love you to my last breath, no matter what life brings us before us. I'm hearing that you're saying this to somebody else, Cancer. Loving you is my biggest weakness and my greatest strength. I'm like, it, like how it just transformed to... You know, real lovey-dovey. Like, this is a whole nother energy that you're talking about, Cancer. This is a whole nother energy. This is, like, the love of your life energy. And this is somebody, like, a child's mother or something like that. Take what resonates. Don't have to be. But that's what I'm seeing. Let's, uh, let's get it to, yeah, Six of Swords. You walked away from something or you're trying to get away from something. Take what resonates for you. Six of Swords. Look, you're trying to get away possibly from some type of third party energy or partying too much. Look, Eight of Cups. You can't make this shit up. Walking away. Walking away into your happiness with the Ace of Pentacles. You could be walking right into your happiness is what I'm hearing at this time. You're just waiting on the perfect time. Yeah, what I say, a new passion, a new beginning. Somebody's about to have a new passion, a new beginning with someone. They're just waiting on the perfect time to do so. Possibly a new home. I'm also looking at this as like a marriage card as well. Somebody's about to get married. Married and celebrate after leaving something. Somebody is trying to move into calmer waters with something. They're, they're trying to walk away from something and move into calmer waters with someone or, or you. 88 could be very significant. But I'm hearing somebody is about to walk into a new passion and new beginning or run into a new, or scoot they boat, or I'm saying scoot they boat. <laughs> roll they boat, Cancer. Somebody's about to roll, roll, roll the boats. All the way to you for their new passion and new beginning. I'm also hearing somebody thought somebody had the bag, but they, they walked away from them as well. I'm hearing that as well with that other reading, that other message rather. Yeah, like you were celebrating with this person, drinking, having a good time. This person you thought had the bag. You thought they had the bag. You got pregnant by them and they kind of left you. They left you in the dust. For a new passionate new beginning is what I'm hearing, Cancer. They left you for a new passionate beginning or you left someone for a new passionate beginning. Take a resonance. 
This could be the cancer that, that is getting the new passionate, new beginning for somebody that walked away from somebody else. Somebody could have walked away from their child's mother to be with the cancer. I'm hearing that as well, or child's father. Yeah, to be with the cancer. That emotionally fulfills them, and they're going to take a leap of faith. Definitely. Somebody, and then somebody let go. Somebody, somebody let go of this Queen of Pentacles energy. They let go of a Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, that could have stabbed them in the back. This Queen of Pentacles energy. They moved away from it because they felt like, oh, wait, okay. They they did not move forward with that Queen of Pentacles energy. Because I feel like somebody here was like illusionist. Um, or somebody here had a lot of options. Is what I'm hearing as well. So somebody could have been feeding somebody a bunch of illusions. They did not move forward with this person. Um, could have been a Queen of Pentacles energy. Somebody who is, um, I'm hearing bold, confident, uh, loyal. They about their money, true indeed. They about their money. They're very responsible, loyal. But yet they got either this person got stabbed in the back. You could be this person as well, Cancer. Flip the roles how you see fit. But I'm seeing somebody here was stabbed in the back. Whether this Queen of Pentacles was stabbed in the back or the Queen of Pentacles is the one that got left because they stabbed somebody in the back. Ten of Swords. Yeah, um, they stabbed somebody in the back to have a new adventure somewhere else. A, a fresh new adventure. Could have been a very passionate new, be, you know, adventure. <coughs> Confirmation. Could have been a very passionate new beginning. And a venture, a venture elsewhere. Somebody ventured off. Somebody strung, somebody strung, like, I'm hearing somebody strung out. Somebody is strung out right now. Somebody is strung out. I don't know why I'm hearing. I'm hearing stray away as well. We did see third party. Yeah, I'm hearing, I keep hearing strung out. Somebody could be strung out, but somebody decided not to move forward with, with you, Cancer, or with someone else. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody decided to move away to find their happiness elsewhere. Cancer, you or somebody else. What is this all about? Thank you. Somebody's about to, yeah, this could be about a Knight of Wands energy that brung a lot of conflict to this situation. A Knight of Wands energy I'm hearing could be the third party. Knight of Wands energy could be the third party. Yeah, they brung justice. They brung justice. They the one brung it. Fair, fair and balanced by lying and cheating. I mean, it was supposed to happen like that. Page of Swords, very immature communication. They about to reveal some secrets. Things about to get fair and just balanced out. This person is not going to move forward. I mean, you already know that the situation is very burdensome. And you're highly, um, you're highly emotionally intelligent to understand that. That it does, it's not going to work out. That it is a burden situation. I mean, Cancer, you you just was like, you know what? Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. It's it's an end. It's it's okay. You know. I hope you find happiness elsewhere. But I have to put this burden down. I'm here. You already knew this was coming, Cancer. You already figured it was coming. You're highly. I keep hearing you're highly emotional. Emotional intelligent. You have your emotional intelligent. Is what I'm hearing. What else is this? Oh, that's way too many. We just seen the Justice card again and the Hierophant. Equal give and take, Ten of Pentacles and Four of Pentacles. Somebody wants to move away with you and build a new, a new life, a new life for themselves. I'm seeing like marriage, a high level of commitment. I'm also hearing walk by faith, not by sight. The money will come. Don't worry, Cancer. I'm hearing that as well. Thank. Thank you. Don't worry. It's coming. Communication just it popped me in my mouth. Don't you worry, kids. Don't you worry. It's coming. Because your battles are being fought. Your battles are being fought. I'm hearing your battles is not fought by flesh. Your battles is spiritually being fought. Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Seven, Eight. 88 could be very significant. Seven, Eight. Good communication about your finances, about your love life, about your family life, your personal life. I'm hearing you're about to get communication that things are being being won and fought on your behalf is what I'm hearing, Cancer. 
I mean, you're not going to be able to have to fight this battle too long. The table resonates for you. All right. There's a lot here with the battle. There's a lot of battles going on and justice. Okay, okay. Immature communication. Somebody decided not to move forward. They going on a, a venture of their own. They're venturing off on their own. They're just waiting for the right time with the Seven of Pentacles. They waiting on the right time for this new passion and new beginning to take the leap of faith with someone who is very emotionally um, stable. 2015 could be significant. They got, you know, they got their ducks in a row. They just want to move forward. They moving into common waters away from people that is fighting them or something like that. Take what resonates, y'all. Let's see what we get from the hidden messages. What's going on? What is going on? The hidden messages. Can I get a little bit more information? Hidden messages. Hidden messages. What is going on? Can I get some from the hidden messages, Spirit? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hidden messages. What is being hidden from my Cancers right now? What does my Cancers need to know? Unexpected outcome. It's going to have you shocked. It's going to have you shocked. Things didn't go the way I planned. Unexpected outcome. Somebody planned something and it did not go their way. Cancer. I mean, Scorpio just got this. So, take what resonates. Shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. All right. Could have been a third party. We did see third party earlier. That is another confirmation. Double. Somebody could have been dealing with a third party that they actually got to see who they really are through this third party, even though it was a one night stand. I mean, somebody was very manipulative, very manipulative, and they didn't even know they was being manipulated. Um, I'm hearing somebody thought you were very naive, Cancer, and you went for it. I keep hearing that, have a baby by me and be a millionaire, and you struggling. You struggling right now. Or you watching somebody struggle. Tell you resonates because I'm looking at this woman. The way she looking like it's a show. They could be watching somebody struggle cancer at this time. Tell you resonates with somebody or you are feeling unworthy. You're a better person than I am. You feel unworthy at this time. I'm hearing a mirror like somebody was a mirror. They was a mirror. That's way too many spirit. I'll just get a couple more. Maybe just one is fine. Yeah. You are a mirror. This could have been a marriage that is slowly but surely dying out. Um, like to to heading toward a divorce. I want you to be I want you to be part of my future. I'm also hearing that the other half is somebody else and then this half with all the lovey dovey stuff, somebody wants to commit to somebody else. This is why we have that unexpected outcome. I'm here. you could possibly thought you was the person this person was going to marry and they married somebody else. Some type of situation like that too, I'm hearing. Cancer. This person could have told you like, yeah, we're going to get married. I daydream about you. Um, you help me really see who I really am. I be feeling unworthy without you. But then you find out that this person got married to somebody else. A third party. And commitment or this person is already married unexpected outcome this is unexpected something unexpected is going to happen truthfully at this point it's so the messages are so all over the place I can't really tell you if it's going to be good or bad because we have the bad and then the good and then like you know you take what resonates for you and your situation whatever your unexpected outcome happens to be let me know let me know if it happens to be something good. If somebody been dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, um, they about to end a third party and they realize that you're that person and they're going to commit to you. Yeah, reveal. Maybe they are. Then we got a church, wedding. I'll take what resonates. I want to tell you the truth that they got some bad habits. They are, they are an addict. I don't know if we will ever change. Somebody don't know if they will ever change. They could be, like I said, in some type of separation. You could be, somebody is 
with somebody that is an addict, but they are in separation from their person. I feel like a part of me is missing without you. Somebody is separated from their actual partner. It could be a separation, like, you know, legal separation, or it could just be, you know, energetically. This, somebody wants to marry somebody that they are in separation with at this time, and they're just reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes. Thank you. Yeah, this person could have a huge ego. I let my pride get in the way of our connection. Somebody could be just focusing on their responsibilities at this time. Take what resonates for you. But we got a you and me. Ooh, cancer. <laughs> Babies. Let's do a you and me. A you and me. A you and me. We'll stick together forever. We'll stick together. I mean, somebody is like... What is that tape? It's like two-sided tape. Somebody's like that. Like, they're going to be so clingy. This person is going to be so clingy on you, Cancer. It's like, you're going to be like, man, shoe fly, don't bother me. You a bug type of energy. But they love you, genuinely. They love you. I'm hearing they always got a good joke for you. Like, with the inside jokes. I miss our inside jokes. And then I'm looking at this couple. Very old, you know? Older older couple. I'm hearing that you guys are going to last. This is why it had to happen this way. I'm so sorry I didn't know how to love you. I'm trying to understand myself more. I'm hearing this is why it had to happen this way. So it can last. So you guys can stand. I mean, stand the test of time. I've been lying to myself for a long time. They love you. I wish I could be there for you, but I am, I feel I, wait, I wish I could be there for you, but I don't feel ready. Somebody doesn't feel ready, you don't feel ready. Take what resonates. This is a whole new energy. This is a new energy. Somebody could have fell in love with the third party. I keep hearing it. A one night stand that they fell in love. You are my missing piece. What did I just say? What did I just say? Somebody fell in love with the third party. They were just like, I'm gonna just go out for a good time and whatever. My wife will never know. My husband will never know. And somebody then fell in love. Whether that's you, Cancer, or somebody else. Say what resonates. Let's see. Let's see. We need to take it slow. Somebody fell in love. They like, this is happening way too fast. I'm here, what's destined for you? You can't stop it. You can't stop it. I can't stop thinking about you. You can't stop it. <laughs> you can't stop it. What's destined for you is for you. You cannot stop. That's like... That's like begging for your husband, but yeah, it might have took 15 years, but your husband or wife is finally here. Everything reminds me of you. This person is here. Your kingdom spouse is here. Your, your wife, your husband is here. You can't, you're not going to be able to, I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. Now somebody feels, like they said, um, shadow side. You made me realize my flaws. You open this person up. That's how it's supposed to be with a, like I keep saying, a mirror. Somebody put a mirror to your face and you got to see, I'm here, you dated somebody that was just like you, but that was your, that was your false twin flame. I want to be with you, but I'm scared. I'm hearing that was your false twin flame. I'm also hearing the other person was your false twin flame and this is your true person. Somebody that can hold that mirror up to you and show you who exactly that you are you know, and who you, you're not. I need more time to reflect on myself. That's a beautiful thing. I'm not ready to open up. Yeah, somebody, you or somebody else is not ready. Even though, you know, y'all on divine time, man. It's not your time. It's not your time. Like, I do believe in those little stories where people meet at the grocery store and then they be, they've been married for 30 years. I believe that. I really do. I believe it wholeheartedly because anything is possible when it comes to the creator you know 
whenever he decides or you know whoever you believe in decides that they they want you to be connected to someone um whether it's for a short amount of time that's what's going to happen whether it's for a long time that's what's going to happen you know we don't really get to decide not for real for real we don't really get to decide I'm hearing that somebody says, I'm hearing somebody is saying like, why? It's like, why? Like somebody's asking why? Why somebody didn't move forward with them? Y'all was gonna celebrate. Y'all was gonna have the life that y'all was meant to happen. But then they chose, somebody chose like a player energy or this could be a player energy that's falling in love. Player, play it. Take a resonance. They're like, why, why, how did I fall in love? You know, I'm not supposed to be falling in love. I'm a player, I'm a player, whatever. Take a resonates. I'm hearing that as well. A player fell in love with somebody. It was just supposed to be a one night stand, but it turned into something more. That, but this person could be, have some type of addictions or you have some type of addictions is what I'm hearing. This don't have to be a couple in different energies. You know, I'm hearing this could be just one energy that is just going through a lot because they fell in love and they are player energy, but they, they're ready to take a leap of faith in a new passionate way with somebody that they love. They about to offer higher level commitment and it's gonna bring, it's gonna be very abundant, a very abundant relationship is what I'm hearing. The really equal give and take, like to the max, equal give and take. Take what resonates. All right, Cancer, let's see what we get from, um, let's check, let's check um, angel answers. Let's get some angel answers regarding this situation. What is going on with my Cancers? Cancer Scorpio, I keep saying Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, but Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is going on? What does my Scorpios need to know? Why do I keep saying Scorpio? You could be definitely dealing with a Scorpio. Yes, maybe the Scorpio turns you down. We did see that somebody was not moving forward with you. Somebody's not moving forward with you. I keep saying Scorpio. Somebody did not move forward with you. And then when I said Scorpio, no popped out. So I'm hearing a Scorpio told a cancer no. And they could have been very, very assertive about it. Or you had to be assertive about the situation. Take a resonance. That doesn't have to. That's for some, not all. But I'm hearing that there was somebody that moved forward from you. And they could have told you, no, I'm not interested or something like that. Cancer. And you had to get a little assertive. And you chose to move in a new direction. Yeah, this might happen in the new, near future as well. Or it could have already happened. Yeah, you, you moved on. You improved your health. Now you live in a very abundant life at this time, Cancer. Because you decided to believe in yourself. You took action. You took action on your life is what I'm hearing. The situation will improve. I'm hearing if this hasn't happened yet, it will. I'm hearing if it happened in the past, you've already in the stage of improving the situation. Again, this could be a child's father, child's mother. Look, yes. Child's father, child's mother type of dynamic. I'm hearing that heavy. Somebody needs to forgive. Somebody's saying it's not the right time to be having opportunities. I'm hearing like a, a bitter baby daddy or a bitter baby mama saying, you don't need, get to have no opportunities if you ain't with me or something like that. Something weird. I'm hearing that. Like somebody's like, you don't get to have opportunities. But you letting go. You letting go of the, that thinking because you do deserve opportunities. You do deserve love. You do deserve happiness, joy, abundance. You do deserve that. So I'm hearing you, you just saying, not right now, not right now, but I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust that, you know, what is meant for me will be for me. Whether I create it or rather the creator bless me with it. Take a resonance because it's going to be perfect timing. It's going to be perfect timing to let go of a situation. Cancer. You're going to have the perfect time to say, nope, I don't want the opportunity. I am no longer moving forward with this opportunity. Or something like that. Yeah, trust. Trust that an opportunity is coming towards you. And when the opportunity presents itself to you, you should take it. You should take it. 
or if it's the opportunity of somebody telling you, yeah, I want you to have my baby, and we're gonna get this money, I'm hearing get more information, get more information. I'm hearing meditate on it, meditate on your answer. I'm hearing somebody could wanna trap you. Somebody could wanna trap you. Look, yes, get more information. Somebody is an addict, they broke, and they ain't trying to do nothing with their life is what I'm hearing. Look, not the right time. Look for a sign. I mean, pay attention to the red flags. Look for a sign regarding romance. You might have somebody that is for you. You might have somebody that is for you. I'm also here, don't focus on romance at this time. Don't focus too much on romance. Take what resonates. Okay. That's what I'm seeing for cancer. Let's get some time out. Don't focus too much on romance. And that's all they keep popping up. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so crazy. Let's get an angel prayer. What's going on? Y'all can you need a little prayer. Let's get a little prayer message for y'all. A little inspiration from the angel prayers. What does the angels have to say to cancer right now? What does the angels have to say to cancer at this time? You see him manifesting miracles, cancer, cancers, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. What do you have to say to my cancers? What do they need to know right now? Thank you. Move your body. Move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say, y'all? Somebody move their body and energy from from you, or you move your body and energy towards somebody that you actually see a high level commitment with. Communication, communication of somebody moving away from something or towards something. Possibly a higher level commitment, moving away or towards something. Something that makes them really happy. A re, a re, I mean, a re, I can't even get it out. Reuniting, reunited, and it feels so good. Is what I'm hearing right now. Somebody's gonna feel so good when they reunite with you. Take what resonates. Don't have to be, but I'm also hearing use your intuition because this could be a, you know, in for a good time, not a long time type of energy. Or this is you that is in for a good time, not a long time. Uh, I'm hearing pregnancy is high, so take what resonates for you. But somebody here is coming for their happiness. They're coming for their happiness, and they moved their body. They made a decision. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and energy. Somebody decided to take their energy back as well. I'm hearing, a, I'm hearing, yeah, they got signs. Pay attention to the signs. We've seen that. Signs from heaven. Thank you, heaven, for sending me reminders of your presence. I mean, you could be dreaming about uh, feathers. You could be seeing feathers, white feathers. I'm hearing black and white feathers. Um, I'm hearing like a blue, blue feathers. Like a dark blue feather. Yeah, your spiritual team is here, though. Dear, dear angels, I allow you to support me as I grow to become more spiritually aware. Your, your spiritual team is here. You got spiritual support during this journey at this time. You got spiritual support at this time, Cancer. Take what resonates for you. <laughs> yes, I'm here. It might bring some type of conflict. When you decide to tell somebody you're not moving forward with them, they're gonna be very conflicted. Five of Swords, they're gonna be very conflicted when you decide to, to reveal the news of moving towards somebody else or something like that. Take what resonates. Um, let's get a Romance Angel. Romance Angel, let's see what's going on. Romance Angel. I just seen reconciliation, flirt. I'm right, cause I'm a flirt. <laughs> you a flirt, Cancer? I just seen wedding. All right, let's see what we get. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancers, Cancers. 
all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Boy, thank you. Keep an open mind. Your soul may, may differ from your usual expectation and type. Your soul may, may differ from your usual expectations and type. Let's see. Thank you. Trust. This situation is calling you to have faith. Have faith, baby. Have some faith. I'm hearing that walk by faith, not by sight. Engagement. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Your love life. Free your ex. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yeah. Playfulness. You met somebody new. Playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youth spirit to have fun and shine. Let's see. Healing your family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. True. True indeed. True indeed. You can be dealing with somebody that's a little bit codependent on your energy. Or this is that ex that's still trying to play on your energy. Like they going to give you something. And you've been with them for 20 years known them for 20 years and they still ain't offered no commitment that's that player energy that i'm feeling like somebody's been with somebody or known each other or have kids by each other or something like that for over 20 years and they still haven't offered anything serious that's the energy you want to stay away from is what i'm hearing they're stringing you along is what i'm hearing it will never be anything serious but table resonates for you that's what i'm hearing i'm just going off what i'm hearing um, I love you more than I ever let on. I'm sorry for breaking your trust. I'm sorry I lied to you. Somebody is sorry. Somebody is sorry. They're sorry. All right, let's see what we get from the love tarot. Let's get a couple from the love tarot. Okay, okay, thank you. Somebody wants to see your wild side and other others' opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. Somebody could be scared to reach out to you due to like religious factors or something like that. Or this is the, you know, you feel this about somebody. That you know somebody has some type of wild side that you want to see. There's a side to you I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you get loose, get wild. Let's have some fun. Yeah, soon. I am going to contact you soon. And they want to spoil you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. Somebody wants to spoil you, Cancer. You or somebody else. Take what resonates. Let's get some from the Eyeless Time Wellness. The Eyeless Time Wellness. Let's stick to it. Chaser. String along. Yeah, somebody could be chasing you just to keep you on their string. But it's going to keep breaking. They're going to keep breaking your heart is what I'm hearing. Somebody is going to keep chasing. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. Somebody is going to keep chasing you because they have a fear of being abandoned. But I'm hearing they don't want nothing serious. One night stand. String along. Unconventional. Many options. Deeply hurt, sad separation, breakup, feeling sad, loss, grieving, and mourning. It's just going to keep breaking your heart. Just going to keep breaking your heart. You need to dead that shit. Dead that shit. Or they're going to dead that shit of ending, breaking your heart. You take what resonates. Ending brings new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. Yeah. Somebody loves you, though. Kisses, unconditional loving, giving, receiving, Affection, falling in love. Somebody could be watching you though. Watching, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, and focusing out. Somebody could just be gaslighting you. Yep, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Somebody could just be doing this. Yeah, snake. Empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed, used, and enabled boundaries. I mean, you need to set your boundaries high. Set those boundaries high. Hi. I'm also hearing put higher boots on. The shit is about to get real. Put high, wear higher boots. The shit is about to get real. That's what I'm hearing right now. Let's get some encouragement and we're going to end it there for our cancers. Let's get some encouragement for my cancers. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Cancers. I just seen joy, patience. Let's see. Cancer, self love, nurture. 
present moment. This could be presently happening at this time. But we got nature. Nature. I am one with nature today. I will appreciate nature at every opportunity. Nature. Patience. I am a patient person who does not act rationally. I learn more about applying patience every day. Don't we all? Present moments. I am a mindful person who truly lives in and experiences the present moment. I will not autopilot my way through tasks. All right, Cancer. This is what I'm seeing. I hope you all enjoyed it. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Uh, you or your person, please take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your nights. Blessings on your journey. And I hope you'll have a great week ahead.